The first cement manufacturing industry in Rwanda was established in 1984. Simergua remains the only local manufacturer producing 600 tons a year. Despite the increase in production capacity of Simergua, their produce does not even make up to 50% of the market demand. The rest of cement is imported from neighboring countries. The chairperson of the Rwanda Private Sector Federation, Robert Bafakureda, believes that this gap will be addressed by the establishment of another cement manufacturing plant in Rwanda. In Rwanda, Rwanda. With prime cement. There's a new cement factory known as Prime Cement, which is about to start operations, which will add to the output of Simergua in making cement available in Rwanda. Simergua produces 50% of the market demand, yet projects like the Bujesera Airport needs a lot of cement, among other infrastructure projects which require a lot of cement. As Rwanda develops, a number of infrastructure projects are set up requiring building materials, especially cement. But due to low supply compared to demand, cement becomes costly on the local market. It is evident. I'll give you an example. Last year, one bag of cement was 9,500 Rwanda francs. But now it's at 13,000 Rwanda francs. Isn't that a huge increase in the price? At some point, we thought the reason as to why cement prices increased was due to the coronavirus pandemic, but we are not sure. Two years ago, the project to build a new cement factory began in Musanze district. Currently, the construction works of this plant is nearing completion. 2,000 people are expected to be employed by the cement factory, which will be using volcanic rocks as raw material commonly found in this area. We expect the prices to go down in future. We've been getting cement from Changugu, but now it will be produced from here in Rohenjeri. The cost will have to go down. Since June, we've been lacking cement, and that has forced local distributors to increase the price from 9,500 to 13,000 Rwanda francs. But we expect to benefit greatly from this factory. We want to establish a distribution company which will deal directly with the manufacturers. That's the idea we have here as the private sector members in this area. The CEO of the Rwanda Development Board, Claire Akamanzi, believes that this will also expedite the construction of infrastructure projects and boost national economic growth. And while we have a good infrastructure standing point, there are a few pointers to also indicate other ways we can look at opportunities relevant to the cement industry. For instance, as I talked about urbanization, but also just building households, we see that households that are living in planned settlements in Rwanda was at 61%. And again, by 2024, that target is to reach 80% of planned settlements. It's also worth noting that um, the population living in urban areas, again, is expected to, to grow from almost to double from 18.4%. With a growing interest in urban development, affordable cement will go a long way in ensuring access to affordable housing projects across the country. The cement manufacturing project is seen as a great boost to Rwanda's infrastructure growth and housing demand, among other needs.